Hi class, uh, today's lesson is going to be on multiplying fractions and whole numbers. So for any numbers A, B, C, and D, they're just going to be their variables, their placeholders. Um, when you're doing fractions, you're actually just multiplying across, meaning that you're multiplying the numerators together, so A times C, and then you're multiplying the denominators together, B times D. And make sure at the end that you simplify you can simplify. Okay. Um, some vocabulary, a little bit of vocabulary. So the word of, the word of can mean multiplication. A lot of the times when you're doing, especially when you're doing word problems, it means multiplication. I'm not saying all the time, but a lot of the times. Um, for example, one half of two thirds is the same thing as saying one half times two thirds. When a numerator and a denominator of either fraction have a common factor, you can simplify before multiply. So when we have examples like that, I'll show you what that means, okay? So let's do some example problems. So we have the problem one half times two thirds. So the rule is saying is we're multiplying the numerators together. Numer whoops, I forgot to use the pen code. The pen, um, multiply the numerators together and we're multiplying the denominators together. So it's going to be one times two and two times three. Okay. And that gives you two over six. And you should always simplify. There's not enough space for you guys there. So maybe you don't need to write that part of it. Um, it is one over three because two divides into both of them. So this rule over here, this last one, you can do this. It actually helps to make the number smaller if you get into the habit of, it, habit of it. When a numerator and denominator of either fraction have a common factor, you can simplify before multiplying. What that means is this is one half and two thirds. Any number from the numerator can be simplified with any number from the denominator. You can't do it across, but you can do it up and down or diagonally. So in this case, there's a two down here and a two over here. So you are just Dividing two into both of them, and you're going to have one and one. And now you can multiply across. One times one is one, and one times three is three, and you get the exact same answer. Okay. So either way works. There's neither one of them is a wrong or a right way. This generally just gives you smaller numbers. We can only do it with a numerator and a denominator. Let's go ahead and do another example problem. So remember, the steps are multiply the numerators together. So we're multiplying four times two is eight, and then five times three is 15. And can we simplify this? No. Can you cross simplify? Let's check. Can you, is there a number that goes into, can you simplify either fraction? No. And does four and three have a common factor, a common number that goes into them? No. Do two and five have a common factor? The answer is no. So you don't, you can't cross simplify for this problem. Generally, when you can't simplify the fraction at the end, you can't cross simplify it anyway. Let's do another example. And if you want to pause the video this time, you can more than welcome to pause the video and try it out on your own. So. Multiply the numerators. Three times five is 15. Four times eight is 32. Is there a number that goes into 32 and 15? So for 15, it's only one, three, and five, and 15 are the only um, factors. And none of these go into, other than one, which doesn't count, um, none of these go into 32. So this is your final answer. Maybe if you want, pause the video and do this one. Um, five times four is 20. Eight times five is 40. And then 20 goes into both of these. So that'll end, leave you with one over two. Cross simplifying definitely occurs for this one because we simplified it, but let's see how that process works. So you have five and five here, so that's going to leave you with one and one. And then four and eight can also simplify. 
So four divided by four goes into both of these. So four divided by four is one. And eight divided by four is two. So now you're just multiplying across one times one is one. And two times one is two. So you get the same answer. On a side note, so some of you may even do this. Five over eight times four over five. Some of you might notice partial cross simplifying. So it means you notice that the fives simplify. But you didn't recognize that the four and eight do. And that's okay because when you multiply across, you're going to get four over eight. And then you can just check it this time and you get one over two. So always, always, always check to see if you can simplify your final answer further. Do another one. So eight times three over five. So when you have a whole number, you have to, every whole number needs to be written as a fraction. So what is the denominator for a whole number? Always going to be one. So you need to make sure that you're doing, you're rewriting it as eight over one. And now this fraction, just rewrite it as three over five. From now on, the steps are the same. And you can ask yourself, can you cross simplify eight and five? Nope, one and three? No, because it's just one. So you just multiply across. Eight times three is 24. One times five is five. And then you can, it depends on your teacher, um, you can uh, write this as a mixed fraction. I'm really okay with either one of them, but check with your teacher which way works best for you. So 24, goes there are how many 24, how many fives go into 24? And that is four. Four times five is 20. That means, four, that means there are gonna be four left over, over five. So let's go, talk about how I did that again. So this is where you can actually divide. It's the other way, whoops. 24, five. So five guys, five goes into 24, four times. Four times five is 20. Subtract them, you get four. It's going to be four, remainder four. So this is four holes. Your remainder of four is your numerator. And your denominator stays the same. So changing to a mixed, a mixed uh, improper fraction to a mixed fraction, this is how you would go about it. Let's do another problem. So once again, you have a whole number over here, so you need to change that whole number into a fraction. So it's gonna be 10 over one, and then rewrite that as two over 15. Can you cross simplify in this one, one and two? No, but 10 and 15, for sure. You have a five that goes into both of them, so 10 divided by five is two, 15 divided by five is three. So two times two is four. One times three is three. And once again, dividing to change this into a, a mixed fraction. So there's three goes into four one time. One times three is three. Subtract to get one remainder one. So one hole on the outside, one numerator one from the remainder, and then you're your denominator is always going to be the same with that three. And remember, this cross simplifying is not required. You're just going to have that additional step of simplifying to four over three in some like at the end. So let's do some word problems or two two word problems. So Raphael had three fourth liter of water. He drank two thirds of the water. How many liters did he drink? So remember when we went back to that first slide with the good to know, the word of can mean multiplication. This is a case where that word of means multiplication. He drank two thirds of, remember now this is multiplying, of the water. And right now, how much water do they have? Three fourths. So this is going to be three fourths. He drank two thirds of three fourths. So that is what you're actually simple. You're multiplying two thirds times three over four. 
So now at this point, I'll rewrite it here too. Okay. Multiply across. So two times three is six. Three times four is 12. And that simplifies because six goes into both of them. That simplifies to one over two. But also you can cross, you can cross simplify one and one because they're the same. Three times divided by three is one, two to three divided by three is one. And then two and two and four can be simplified too because two is a common factor. So this is gonna be a one and this is gonna be a two. Now when you multiply across, one times one is one, one times two is two, same answer. Either one works, remember guys, they're both fine. All right, one more problem. So Brandon had five third cups of trail mix. He split the trail mix among himself and four friends. So each had one fifth of the trail mix. What fraction of a cup of trail mix did he each person receive? So you can do this in two ways. What I mean is, that's all right. So they got one fifth of it. So this is one fifth of the trail mix, and there's five eighth cup of trail mix. So it's going to be one fifth of five over eight. So multiply across is five over 40. And five does go into five and 40. So when you divide five into both, you're gonna be left with one over eight. And just showing that example using cross, um, cross simplifying, so one over five and five over eight. So five and five, that means one and one, and let's multiply across now. One times one is one, one times eight is eight. So one eighth cups, okay? And your, your homework, your ELA is just working on these you try problems. Work it out in your notebook and then take a picture and insert it into the left side. All right. Bye, guys.